At the end of the day, the only thing that really matters that changes anybody's life are relationships. And so you end up sort of asking, how do I put myself in a position to have the kind of relationships I want to have, both with my, my friends and my neighbors and with broken people around us? When it comes to like messing with really seriously poor people, like busted up ghetto people, I think a lot of times when people show up, they start a program in order to create a mediating barrier between them and the people. Like, I'm the tutor, you're the 2T. I'm handing out food, you're coming to my soup kitchen. And in a sense, like that creates a natural boundary of this is the way I'll interact with you. When I first moved in here, you know, everybody sort of goes like, wow, this is so radical. Like you guys just like, you're in relationship. You don't even have it mediated with program. Like you're just buddies with people. Uh, that's so cutting edge or whatever. And they go like, nobody else is doing, you know, and the more I got to know like people that were in the CCDA movement, people, everybody, even if they were living in a neighborhood, they were always boundaries in the relationships. And people go like, wow, what you're doing is so different. And, uh, and then you know, four years in, five years into doing it, you sort of go like, there's a reason why nobody does that. It's very difficult being friends with somebody who literally has a dollar in their pocket, you know? Because when they say like, I'd like a soda, or my kid just died and I can't afford to pay for the funeral, like, you've got enough money. Like, I got a job, like, I could pay that bill, and I could pay that bill, and I could, but like, do you? Like, if, with my real friends, if one of my real friends could, like, was in an accident and he needed a thousand bucks, I'd give him a thousand bucks, we, you know. But like there's a, the nice thing is like that doesn't happen that often with my real friends. But like with my friends here, everybody's in crisis all day long. And so like, if you started doing that, after a while you'd stay in your house because you can't afford to go out and talk to anybody because every conversation will lead you to, I gotta do this, I gotta give this, I gotta, and you, you just end up wiped out. On one level, it's really simple and elegant. Just form friendships. On another level, friendship is a much more complicated mess than a more narrowly defined ministry relationship.